children welcome to your home school this is very very important session in your mathematics basics this session is very important for high school children okay so what is this session today numbers numbers we already have seen right what are the numbers we have seen children let's recall here numbers odd numbers even numbers prime numbers composite numbers uh, these are all the numbers we have seen right so what we are going to learn in this session about the numbers numbers are classified into some type of numbers what are those so let's start counting here right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 stop what is this way of counting numbers i'm just counting the numbers right so what are these numbers called as counting numbers every number uh, we count we start counting from 1 right those numbers are all called as the natural numbers are also called as the counting numbers so what are the natural numbers here children all the numbers there is no end for these type of numbers so if we start from 1 go on counting go on counting no it's endless numbers we can write for this numbers what are natural numbers all the counting numbers are called as the natural numbers natural numbers start with the number 1 1 is the least natural number so here these natural numbers are represented by the letter n see here this is the letter n so now what are the numbers how do we write we represent these natural numbers with a capital n with a set of numbers see here children 1 2 3 4 4 on there is no end for the set right all the natural numbers are all the counting numbers least natural number is 1 okay what is the next type of numbers natural numbers including zero are called as the whole numbers so here what is the whole numbers all the counting numbers with the zero including zero those type of numbers are called as the whole numbers whole numbers are represented by the letter capital w so now that is w is equal to set of 0 1 2 3 4 so on right so later i'm going to say about the subset of these sets children so next number what is the next type of numbers here natural numbers counting numbers whole numbers including zero with the natural numbers are called as whole numbers then what is the next type of numbers here integers integers can be represented by the letter i or capital z so what are these integers all the whole numbers with negative numbers called as the integers whole numbers means these children do you remember in a number line negative numbers same number we are representing with a negative sign so what are integers here all the counting numbers with the zero it becomes whole numbers and extra what are the extra numbers we are saying here all the negative numbers with whole numbers are called as the integers integers is represented by the letter i or z so how do you write this set children so here so on i'll start here Minus three, minus two, comma minus one, zero, one, two, three, so on. Or I may rewrite this in this pattern also. You can write zero plus or minus one plus or minus two plus or minus three plus or minus four, so on. There is no end for all these numbers, children. Okay, once again. So natural numbers, whole numbers with zero, integers with all these numbers, extra negative numbers 
negative numbers and whole numbers are called as the integers now what is the next type of numbers here rational numbers rational numbers are represented by the letter q what is the rational number representation children q what are rational numbers all the types of numbers we have seen here so what are rational numbers the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q what are the rational numbers children all the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q p by q is what it is a fraction all the numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q are all called as the rational numbers on one condition where its denominator never be equal to 0 okay so all the numbers which can be represented in the form of p by q where q cannot be equal to 0 see here children once again have a look here so how do you write this set here children i may write it as q is equal to any numbers you can say children not that or this not all numbers so all numbers i can write it as a rational numbers including negative also we can say here suppose minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 you have so here let me take here 4 by 3 6 by 7 or 8 these are all just i have taken some numbers here okay so minus 3 how does it become a rational number children it is a negative number but look here every number is divisible by 1 right so nothing there you can simply say it is 1 other than 0 it should be so minus 3 by 1 it is a negative rational number it is also a negative number it is also a negative rational number it is a positive rational number 4 by 3 6 by 7 8 only 8 means 8 by 1 so here how do we write a fraction children numerator upon denominator or numerator by denominator so what are rational numbers rational numbers are the numbers which can be represented in the form of p by q where q cannot be equal to 0 what are the next type of numbers here children irrational numbers what are irrational numbers the numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q are called as the irrational numbers which can be expressed in the form of p by q are called as rational which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q are called as irrational numbers see here this is represented by q just now i have written here not p by q so it is q bar i have written here irrational numbers what are these numbers where do we see this type of numbers so with a third look here with a square root you can see these irrational numbers root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 and pi these are all called as the irrational numbers so once again have a look here children understand the concept carefully so there are many numbers we learned right what are the numbers we have seen children till now suppose when we start our numbers we start counting with the number our numbers are hindu arabic numbers right indian numbers number system place value this is all we have seen right how to identify a number normal numbers we say that those are all counting numbers those counting numbers are called as the natural numbers natural numbers are represented by the letter capital n natural numbers including zero we call them as whole numbers then coming to integers what are integers children in integers negative numbers along with the whole numbers are called as the integers rational numbers rational numbers the number which can be expressed in the form of p by q see here children these are all rational numbers i will say all the numbers we can express in the form of p by q if nothing there only numerator there you can just divide and write one it is a 
rational number then other than these numbers we have here irrational numbers that is with a third form look here children as we have discussed all the types of numbers now along with this i'm going to say how we call those numbers as a subset of the other numbers so here first inside circle observe here children so this is n i've written here n n is what natural numbers so let's write here n children 1 2 3 4 so on this circle represents the natural numbers so here i'm going to write in whole numbers ring i will write only zero so now from this complete ring can you see this one so this ring this complete ring we call it as a whole numbers why children including zero with the counting numbers are called as the whole numbers so now i want to say you a word here what is that natural numbers are subsets of whole numbers natural numbers are the subsets of whole number what do you mean by subset children okay uh, just you imagine your school how to remember the subsets imagine your school in your school many sections many classes will be there right so if i ask you yeah which standard some eighth or ninth you say so your class is a part of your school right you are the subset of your class and your class is a subset of your school means you are the part of your section so understand here children natural numbers along with zero are called as whole numbers in whole numbers natural numbers will be there so how do you write this natural numbers are subsets of whole numbers next what is your next string here integers what is integers here negative numbers along with the whole numbers are called as the integers extra what you have to write in this uh, ring children whole numbers there any negative number you can write okay any negative any negative numbers you write so negative numbers along with the whole numbers are called as the integers so now how do you write your subset here natural number subset of whole number and these two are the subsets of integers okay so now next string what is your next string here rational numbers rational numbers what will be extra in this string here children what are rational numbers the numbers which can be represented in the form of p by q so let me write 2 by 3 4 by 6 uh, 7 by 2 like this these are all the rational numbers the numbers which can be represented in the form of p by q only we know till now right i am going to say you one more word all the fractions with the decimals we call it as a rational numbers where its denominator is not equal to zero see here uh, it is in the form of numerator and denominator it is a fraction right fraction if you divide what you are going to get here children some numbers you are going to get here suppose uh, if you divide what happens here 2 3 is a 6 point two four five is a 10 3.5 you are getting when you divide 7 by 2 now what you have written is a decimal value right so in rational numbers rational numbers includes fractions and also decimals we call it as a rational numbers how do you write the subset here children natural numbers subset of whole numbers subset of integers subset of rational numbers and then these are all the subsets of a new letter that is what r r means what real numbers r is what children representing the real numbers in this real numbers we have one more what is that one more here in rational numbers irrational 
numbers irrational numbers uh, you can't say that those are all the now these sets are all subsets of irrational we can't say but where as what we can say the rational numbers this is a ring of rational numbers and irrational numbers combinedly called as real numbers now you got an idea here children what are real numbers have a look here real numbers is classified into two types rational and irrational rational and irrational now here again rational numbers in rational numbers these are all subsets we have told no rational numbers is again classified into three natural numbers whole numbers integers see your children this is real numbers real numbers is the head of the family of numbers real numbers includes rational and irrational again in rational natural numbers whole numbers integers are all part of the rational numbers so in our next session we are going to learn about what are recurring non recurring why we call it as a irrational and what is a non terminating and what is a terminating decimals these are all we are going to learn in our next session children thank you thank you for watching